I'm Scott L. Miller. It is the 5th of July, 2022, and this is my vlog of daily life in Nicaragua. I am here in San Juan del Sur, and I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys around because it's not very often that I come down here and I am free to walk town. I'm actually recording this in real time as it happens. It is 3.50 in the afternoon. I got up this morning pretty tired because if you watch my videos, you know that yesterday I was on the bus for the entire day. I got in late last night and had my adventure with my passport. And and I'm just going to point out right here, this is the Hotel Alcazar. This is where Brian and I will be staying today. And uh, so this morning I did manage to get a good night's sleep. I was up by about seven o'clock and uh, hung out with Paul for just a little bit, had our morning coffee, and I was out the door to jump in the bus. Same bus company that I took to get down here. This is the Pacific Ocean, the bay at San Juan. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Beautiful day, beautiful clouds rolling in. It was bright sun when I arrived but it is nice and cloudy now. We know we have a rainstorm coming in from Costa Rica, which is just a little ways down there. And I uh, got up this morning and by, it was about 9.30, 9.45, the bus picked me up. There's only four of us on the bus today. Really nice and easy and took a quick uh, five and a half hour drive. That seems like a long time until you've been on the bus the last couple times for 22 hours at a shot. So five and a half is really easy. By the way, this used to be the Eskimo, I believe, and now is a Cafe Pronto, which is fantastic. It's still weird to have a super mini on the water. Like, why do they do that? Only hotels should be on the waterfront or nothing. It should be open, maybe restaurants, but not. Anyway, but it's it's way better than it was. So um, uh, we went down through Granada and down to San Jorge and Rivas, and then down here to San Juan del Sur. Uh, and, and so that was my pretty much my entire day. I got into the hotel and Brian uh, left this morning from Texas and is flying up or flying down rather uh, to Costa Rica. He arrived in Liberia about two and a half hours ago. He is already at the border as I'm recording this and taking his taxi up here to San Juan. Uh, so I will see him in just a little while. Our plans this evening, we are just relaxing here on the beach. We're gonna have some drinks and just probably not really gonna stay in San Juan. I think we're just doing one night and gonna be heading up to Granada tomorrow where we are gonna be hanging with Josie Marr. We're gonna do trivia night. Uh, should, be, should be a lot of fun. We're gonna figure out if the bus that I took today can take us or if we're taking some other transport. We haven't gotten all that worked out yet. Uh, we'll make some of those decisions over dinner once he arrives. Uh, so I'm gonna do some relaxed walking around of the town here. I can't believe that this pink and purple house remains. Like, seriously, this is some of the most expensive waterfront in the entire country and weird crap like this just continues and some of these three beautiful hotels next to each other and then a couple decent places and then like a complete rundown wreck that we tried to buy uh several years ago and they were like nope nope we're not gonna let you fix it up or do anything with it and so we're like no we're not taking it um they do some weird things on this waterfront that cause it to be it, some places really expensive and some places just terrible. Um, and you just don't have permission to do smart things. So there's a lot of just really awful waterfront places and it really hurts the town. There's so much that they could do to improve it and in increase capacity um, because so much of it is left with just cars parked in the street and buildings that are essentially unused. It should be full, especially on the waterfront. You can see how many people are out in the water, which is not a ton, right? But those people obviously aren't staying on the waterfront because there aren't places to stay. Uh, and this is the port of San Juan. You can kind of see down here, uh, cruise ships will actually come in there. So that is an official port of entry. There's a duty free, uh, there's an immigration point, all that kind of stuff is down there. Uh, so that is where we are. That is our plans. And uh, yeah, he should be here in just probably about an hour uh, and then uh, we'll see what goes from there. But so far it has been a good day of travel and I'm very glad to be done with the long bus rides for at least a little while. After having a long period crossing the border and then catching a taxi and coming up to uh, San Juan del Sur, Brian finally arrived at the hotel. This is his first time ever doing an international border crossing. So that was pretty stressful for him, especially as it's an international border that is not his own country, going from Costa Rica into Nicaragua. So he did his flight from the US to Costa Rica, obviously an airport border crossing, then he did Costa Rica into Nicaragua by land. All new experience for him, all in Spanish. So very proud of him for, for doing that on his own uh, and making it up to San Juan del Sur. Joined me at the Hotel Alcazar, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love that hotel, beautiful location, beautiful hotel, great staff, like really, really impressive staff. And um, 
and we hung out for a little bit because obviously uh one very warm from all the bus rides like that stuff just where like you get physically warm you're out in the sun uh, but he had a really nice drive saw some beautiful countryside was really impressed by just how lovely southern nicaragua is and it really it really is um and uh, so he wanted some time to just decompress and, and shower and all that stuff because he'd been traveling all day. Once he did that, we went out uh, and did a little bit of walking around um, in San Juan del Sur, but not a ton. I mean, we're not really there to see it. It's kind of just a staging ground to get over the border, go as little as possible, but there's lots of hotels. It's the nearest place to the border where you can really just reliably catch a hotel and restaurants and have things to do. So we did that. We walked um, up and down the beachfront and saw that so he could get an idea of what the town is like, get a little bit of exercise, uh, and try to figure out where we wanted to have dinner. He was hoping for something authentically Nicaraguan, but that's a little bit hard to do for dinner in San Juan del Sur. I don't have any idea where you would go because it is a solid tourist zone down by the beach. So we went uh, and just walked around a bit and then found Taco Stop, which legit is a Nicaraguan uh, taco chain. It's the same one that we saw open in uh, Granada seven years ago when we lived there. It's now gone, but that we watched it open we used to eat there a bit uh, and so did tacos there they're excellent of course um, saw lots of lots of tourists and backpackers and talked to some people and then uh, really just walked around a little bit more saw some things went back hung out in the hotel for a little while I did a little bit of my uploads and things the internet is screaming fast at the Alcazar while wow, if you watch my shorts I actually made um, a video about managing the internet there because they have two completely different internet services that you can choose between in the rooms one is symmetrical and like really decently fast up and down and then one is hugely fast down but very little up uh, so depending if you're if you're a content creator like me you need the one for the rooms and if you're just you know watching lots of videos or something you're just a normal user is not creating content then you want the main one from the hotel it's so awesome i don't know if they did that intentionally there's a very good chance they did not but it works out perfectly that you have backup services and two totally different types of services so you can choose between them i was really thrilled about that i got so many things uploaded like all of my gopro backlog is now uploaded which thank goodness because i am out of space on everything every device is full including my laptop and the hard drive i have an external hard drive that i take for trips like this uh, now it's only one terabyte but it's an ssd and i have a half terabyte in my laptop so i take one and a half terabytes with me uh, as i go the gopro will Will carry a quarter terabyte quarter terabyte in it the iphone will carry i think a quarter terabyte so everything has a bit of buffer but those things start to fill up and i've been constantly trying to offload them i have produced if you're ready for this 1.2 terabytes of content during this trip think about that for a second this has been less than two weeks 1.2 terabytes that's how fast i produce stuff um, and when I am talking about all the management I do day to day of uploading and downloading things, that's why it's so dramatic. I'm producing at that pace all the time. I'm not producing more because I'm traveling right now. I'm actually producing potentially just a little bit less. So that's just, it's madness. So I was very thankful that a lot of my stuff got uploaded and I was able to clear a lot of equipment. And I'm like, all right, got some breathing room now, uh, especially having been, been home for, for a night and now being able to be here. Uh, so then a little bit later in the evening, about 10.30 or so, um, Ryan was like, no, I don't feel like going out and partying in San Juan. And legit, the town was dead. Like, I've never seen San Juan with so few people. I have no idea why it's so slow. I mean, it is the slow season, right? So, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but this was much slower than I was expecting it to be for the slow season in San Juan del Sur. Uh, so the parties were very small. We could hear some going on across the street, uh, but nothing uh, nothing major. Uh, and so it's like, that's not very interesting. We didn't want to go out and drink and we didn't want to. So we did uh, go sit on the beach for a little while, had a beer, one beer you're sitting on the beach maybe we had two but that was it we're like we don't want to this is just a travel thing just want to see the beach chill um and then when we got back to the hotel room uh we decided to go out for street food and just grabbed quesadillas on the beach of course this is the beach where three years ago uh rachel and i were there and she loved her quesadilla so much that when it fell on the ground she picked it up and ate it anyway that's how good they are that's that's my guide it's my bar for what a good quesadilla is and um uh, so we did that they were excellent we just ate them in the hotel room 
cranked up the air conditioning and called it a night. Uh, we both are looking forward to some sleep. Both, you know, we know we're going to be traveling tomorrow. We have booked with a Shimchi, the bus that I've been using day after day. Now, um, they're the ones that got me to and from Guatemala, the ones that brought me down to San Juan del Sur. And tomorrow, they are taking us to Granada, where we are booked at the hostel Selena Alhambra in Granada, right on the Plaza Mayor, the main square in the middle of the city, uh, which I've always wanted to try out. So that's really cool. And uh, we're going to see everybody tomorrow from Granada. Remember to like, subscribe, leave your comments and questions below. Thank you for joining me. I will see all of you tomorrow.